top of the morning it's sunday just woke up have my bottle of water first thing you should do when you get up in the morning then after that a cup of gel so we up gotta get ready for church looking a mess but um it's sunday so i'm gonna do a little sunday vlog i gotta get ready for church and i will see you guys as we go along all right guys see ya all right guys so this is what i decided i'm gonna wear to church this dress is by tashadi shoni it's beautiful super well made i'm gonna pay it up with my hands tooth which is a pleasure. It's going to be a hands to third. And I put, I put a little bit of red by wearing the Catherine Malandrino boots. I don't know yet. But we shall see. And um, I'm going to carry my, my Chanel 19 bag. Voila. Let me go get in the shower. So, see you all. Alright guys. So, we have the Tashadi Show Me Dress. I have my tweed 19 bag that I'm gonna carry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, Rachel Zoe jacket on. So I do have my beret. I'm sorry you guys can't see my hair, but let's put it a little bit longer. I don't know. Why it's doing what it's doing. Alright guys, I do have this Tashadi Show Me dress. I'm church ready. I'm gonna do my it is super cold where we are, so I am gonna do my scarf and my beret. And um ouch. I'm gonna go ahead and carry the 19 bag and put some glasses on because it's windy, it's cold, I don't want dust in my eye, so voila. The casual Malandrino boots, guys. Getting ready for church. See ya. First Sunday of the month, so there will be the Lord's Supper. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm. Who is here? Anybody? I don't think it's up for you today. Oh my god. Hi, who's this? My name is John. Who's this? Hi, John. This is Jackie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, can I get a tall um caramel brulee hat? Of course. 
and a grande cinnamon dolce, cinnamon latte. dolce latte hot. Cinnamon dolce latte hot. Uh, you said it was grande? Yes, yeah. grande for that one. The other one okay. was a tall. And a tall decaf of Americano hot. Uh -huh. With two splendid and half and half. You got it. Anything else for you? Do you have any? Okay, guys, we are back home. So, yeah. Church was very long today, if I may say so. I was actually sleepy. I was like, what? I'm sleepy in church? God forbid. Not that the pastor was boring. It was just a long service. I guess it's because it's the first Sunday of the month. And yeah, once more, this is Jackie, AKA Fabulous Jackie. Used to be Fabulous Jet, but I'm still Fabulous Jet to Lifestyle. So if you're new here, welcome, 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 welcome. This is my Sunday vlog. And there's not much to do today. It's it's like the whole of this week, I've been very lazy and quiet, but um, I always have to come correct to you guys. I always have to keep up to my commitment. I don't want to start the new year being all lazy, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. It's called self-care, which is what I'm trying to do. I don't want to keep rushing, doing stuff because I did that last year trying to, you know, feed, uh, uh, fill up a void. But this year, I think I am going to take it easy and I'm going to chill. But anyway, I was talking about how church was really, 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 really long from 10 o'clock to almost 12.45. It's like, oh my God, I was tired. Was it 12.45 or 12.30? I think it was 12.30. Let me not embellish, it's Sunday. But anyway, guys, so we are in the boudoir where we pay homage to, ding, 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 handbags and some other luxury items. This is my luxury room. This is where most of my luxury items, this is where they are housed. This is their place. It's some of the other items are in my other closet, my fashion, my designer, my dupe, my whatever is in the other closet. But this is where my precious, precious, precious cargo, this is where they stay. All right, guys. So, oh, hi, Chi. I ran into one of you guys today. One of our fabulous sister, Chi Nujin from Vegas. She was at Uptown Cheapskate. Cuckoo. <laughs> She's visiting my neck of the woods. So so I'm just like walking in because I went in there to pick up a Genfraco foray shoes that I I saw. I mean, unfortunately, it was too big for me, so I wasn't able to pick it. So as I was on a mission, just walking in, and I hear, hi, Jackie. And I turn around, and I was like, okay, you guys, I am so bad with faces. So I'm thinking... Where do I know this person? <laughs> but she looked familiar like somebody that I knew before. But um, then she goes like, uh, YouTube. I was like, oh my God. I knew I was going to run into her because she had texted me when she was in town. That she wanted to come shop at the boutique, but I wasn't able to, to let her do that because you guys know my house is my safe haven. You know, especially, I'm not suspicious of anybody, but I'm just not going to invite anybody to come into my home. Even though she's so sweet. She's an angel. She just looks sweet. But I just like to, you know, maintain my privacy, if you don't mind. Now, if I open a store out of, away from my garage, yeah, sure, why not? But it was, it was, I was happy to see how we shopped a little bit. Unfortunately, my freaking phone died. So I wasn't able to take any videos and I had left it in the car because I'm like, this one is dead. So what good is it to me? So I left it in the car and we were not able to take any pictures. But hi, Chi. She's going to be around this area for a minute. So yeah, it was nice to run into one of my fabulous sisters. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, I don't even have much to do today. Oh, so... Uptown Chipskate, what I got. Let's do the shoes. You guys have seen my Philip Lim glass slippers. Talk about Cinderella. Look at that. Hey guys, Philip Lim. I did get this at Uptown Chipskate for $44, but I had points, so I didn't really pay that much. 
you guys saw it on my other video but being that this is part of it's gonna stay in this room i have to showcase her because this is gonna be her house okay she ain't going to other closet but this closet so voila welcome home philip lane <laughs> this is your new home philip lane found the home all right the next thing i found this actually got this guys during christmas time ross was selling a whole lot of sport whitesman shoes and they were selling them for like 200 149 150 i'm like huh i ain't paying that much i love sport whitesman but i ain't paying that much but i waited right right before christmas they started marking them down and i was able to find this Stuart Weitzman, yeah. Okay, so this one was they had they were selling it for 130, which I would say 129. Snake skin, spring is right around the corner, and I got it for how much did I pay? I got it for 64 dollars. See, it's good to wait, even though it's an eight and a half. It's a sling bag, animal print, Stuart Weitzman. This shoe retails for four, four to four fifty, I believe. And for me, and then Ross was selling it for one thirty, and I got it for sixty four dollars. Yay! So, this is another one that's gonna stay in this closet. So, here's your home. Welcome, Stuart Weitzman. <laughs> you guys were like jackie you crazy we're not talking to her shoes she's gone way out there the loony bean all right so what else do i have to show you guys that you haven't seen oh while we were at uptown i met chi there and she didn't see this but when i walked in there's a place where they put all their little designer bag not designer bags they are maybe dupe bags some authentic ones and dupe it's like right by the register and i walked in i was gonna take the other route which is towards the through the men's department but something said just walk up front so i walk up front and i found voila this vintage with a ball chanel but i cut it to this is leather guys it's like lambskin right there this is vintage according to the young lady told me oh we haven't even authenticated it that's like well somebody put it out when i when she was ringing me up i said somebody put it out so somebody had to have but either way beautiful leather look at the leather guys this was she took out a tag to let me know. Let me find my receipt. This was six. Was this sixty nine? I think it was sixty nine dollars. Let me see if I have the receipt. I'm like, why she cut out the tag? Why did they do that? Okay, she. I know she said it was final sale. So yep, sixty one dollars. If you can see it right there. Can you see that? Is it upside down? Yeah, it was 60, $61.90. Oh, no, that's not it. That's my total, silly girl. It was actually... It was actually 49 See how I be forgetting? 49 because then I bought a dress, a Terry John dress that was 60% off. Now, that came up to... I came up to $12, so my total was $61. But that bag was $49, okay? And they get a filler bag where if you pay $25, come in January 27, you you can buy a filler bag, $25, and you, you get a bag, and you fill it up until you could tie it up for $25. So I'll have to go get a bag. So that was in the day. It's mostly everything that's on sale now that has a stamp. They're going to put it outside. 
and I'm gonna go out there like a crazy person and fill my bag. Ha! Ah, okay. I don't know. We shall see. Yes, guys. So this is another Chanel in my closet. It's more of a crossbody. The only thing is, the strap in with these vintage bags, the straps are not long enough. Unless somebody's gonna come tell me, oh, that's not vintage. Go buy this is okay because people have opinions. So yes, like it, like it, like it. Yep, she took off the tag and told me fine I'll sell. I'm like I ain't bringing it back in. Gotta worry. You're not. You don't have to worry about a thing. So voila. So you know back in the day, vintage bags didn't have um, serial numbers or or. This is so soft, the lambskin. I have a uh, uh, vintage wallet that will go so well with this. I do. I do, I do. Let me see if I still have it. Where is my vintage wallet? <laughs> yep. Voila. This is my vintage Chanel. It's falling apart already but i'm gonna use this together this one is more of a calf calf skin and this is where we had the the twist put all your change in this you still have change in it then you get your wallet um your credit card space right there yes so this and then over here we have this little this is so vintage it's not even funny yep so when i saw this even though this one is a whole lot softer i'm like voila now i can use them together i can use it together put it in there have the tassel in the corner with the little chanel ball right there i don't know if you can see the little cc's right there in the corner yes guys so this is my first 2024 luxury thrifted item from uptown cheapskate so if you have an uptown go pay the visit all right so that's that this is the newest thing for 2024 in my closet that I have to show you guys. All right, what else do I have for you all to see? Oh, my son is. All right, guys. So being that I don't wear eyelashes no more, I don't I don't feel like irritating my eyes. So being that I don't wear eyelashes and I don't want to look bald when I come to you guys, I bought this little sunnies, you know downtown and i put them in every color shape and size so when i'm talking to you guys i'm gonna be wearing them i'm not being rude but phew, do you see how cute they are these things were less than five dollars so i got that i got this little one right here and you guys have seen the green one i wore yesterday do you see that this is gonna go if I'm wearing like in the springtime, if I'm wearing something. These are not sunnies that I'm walking around outside with. This is just me coming to you guys because I have no eyelashes. I'm gonna be wearing, if I'm not wearing my reading glasses, I'm gonna be wearing some of these fashion glasses. There's this square one. I have this one in green. It's what I wore yesterday. The lens is a whole lot lighter, but this lens is very, this one is darker. So I don't know how I'm going to come to you guys, but you guys will just have to look at me that way. So, yes, these are cute. They're inexpensive. I'm just going to put them in a little section. There's more. Don't know where they are. I just... Oh, okay. And there's this other one. You guys have seen me wear this before, too. This one is lighter. Same, a little bit. I thought they were the same color, but they're not. This one is more pink. You know, I just put them in my little case when I come to make a haul. I'm coming to you guys looking like, I think I spent some money, but I didn't. I'm just cheap like that, but I like to look fly. 
<laughs> without breaking the bank. So yes, so I got this cute little numbers. I think I have, this is three, four, I got five of them or maybe six, I forgot. Cause I bought a whole bag. I just have to untie the bag and you guys have seen me rock this. I love the fact that the lenses are a little bit tinted. This one has a tint of blue. This one has black. This one has more like, like a little psychedelic orange tint to it. And then this one has some kind of goldish tint. Do you see that? This would look so good with brown, but I'm wearing it now because it is what it is look at here so yes guys those are my new 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 items for 2024 and i went to church today wearing this tashadi shoni dress i don't know if you guys i try to show you guys how it looks beautiful tashadi shoni and uh this dress was thrifted from goodwill this dress retail for $3.95. I think I thrifted it for like $10. Okay. It's supposed to be off the shoulder. The shaggy shoni. I don't know if y'all can see. You can see the details. Look at that. If I tell you your girl could thrift, I can thrift. And then I paired it up with my Rachel's houndstooth jacket. I have gotten this Rachel Zoe from Marshall's last year. You see, it has the unfinished on the, in the back. You see right here, all the way down. And the neck is unfinished. It's a size medium. I think I paid 49 for this when Rachel Zoe came out with this last, not last year, year before last, 2022 is when I got this. And I think this is my second time wearing it. So I wore that to church today. I didn't button it up. I could have, but I didn't. So, voila. This is it. But I wore it open. So, being that it was super cold, I wore my Christmas Chanel scarf around my neck. Oh my God. This braids i don't know how people with long hair do it this is a nuisance always pulling your hair in the back what a nuisance i cannot shush i mean i know these are braids but can you imagine pulling doing your hair like this all the time is too much work so yeah and then i had on the beanie which i took it off i took the beanie off because my hair was hot i'm like sure sure I got home, that's the first thing that I pulled, just took out, is the beanie. So, but you guys will see the beanie over there in the beginning of the video. I'm carrying my Chanel 19 Hound's Tooth to kind of go, you know, with the jacket. Then on my feet, I have my thrifted Catherine Malandrino boots. You guys remember when I brought this to you guys, I only paid $1.99. Thrifted Catherine Malandrino. See that? Come on now. Why would I go to the store and pay full price when I could thrift? Just why? <laughs> yeah. All right. Can you imagine? Can you ima oh, I forgot one more glasses. Okay. This was just sitting here like, uh, you need to showcase me. So this is a dupe of something. I don't know. Maybe a dupe of... Uh, I don't know. Maybe you want to give you Loewe because of the wide rim right here. But this too was gotten downtown. It's more of a psychedelic frame, um, lens. Let's see. See, I like to play with stuff that's not expensive. Do you see that? Hmm. I like to play with this kind of stuff because if it falls and it breaks, I'm not going to cry Bloody Mary. <laughs> I paid $2.99. But it is looking super cute. I know you can get this at Amazon and pay, what, $10? I ain't pay $10. Ah, I ain't stupid. But see, but I will make it look good. So, yes. 
I love this. It's like, do you know who is behind this girl? Hmm? Do you? I only got one of these guys. Hopefully, if I go to market coming this week, if I see the guy, he has a whole tray of sunglasses. They're not designers, but they are just fashion. They call um they are called um, festival sunnies. I think that's what they call. So, okay. I cannot wait. I can continue to try on my Chanel that I just picked up. Just as soon as I walked in, it was like, hello, Jackie. Here, can you pick me up, please? Because nobody else is picking me up. <laughs> so can you just take me home? So I did. I did. I did. So yes, guys, this is it. I might even double the strap so I can wear it as a shoulder. Let's see if we can do that. Can I? Can I double it? It's like a kid in a candy store. It's like so super. Let's see here. Yeah. I think I can just do it as a handheld. Amen. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I used to be able to do this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, a little handheld. I can make it two handle or one. If I don't feel like putting it on my shoulder, it can just become this. I can make it longer where I can put double strand on my shoulder, but for now, this is how I wanna wear it. It almost looks like a bigger wallet on a chain. So all you had to do was change all the strap. You guys will see me when I when I rock it the next time. I can't believe I I'm so happy that I have the matching wallet. So this bag is so soft that I am so scared it's going to scratch easily. I mean you can tell by by this leather right here. The leather here is so soft, so it's a little scratch right here. It's a little scratch, but oh well, it is what it is. Cute. All right, guys, so that's what I'm wearing today. What I was, I'm smelling like, um, oh, I forgot to show you my glasses that I had on. guys i'm looking for aye, aye. okay so yes i forgot this is what i was wearing you guys have seen the my chanel Qu um, quilted sunglasses you guys have seen that so i had that on super cute don't need to show you guys again but voila i think i'm even loving this more and then I am, I have on my Riri, my Rihanna lipstick. I have two of this. I forgot I had this. They've been sitting on my cosmetic table for a long time. I was like, oh, let me put some Riri on. So that's it. And I'm smelling like Alien Goddess by Mugler. It's look like, just like an alien, doesn't it? Look at the little alien face that it smells delicious one of my christmas presents voila alien goddess that's what i'm smelling like today so guys this is it i'm gonna go downstairs and where's my glasses huh. i'm gonna go downstairs and cook something and i don't know i'm lo i lose glasses i will take them off and chat them somewhere then i will know where it is so voila there it is so yeah here's my ootd my sunday's best so i see you all like and subscribe to this channel guys hit the notification bell so you know when your girlfriend uploads who is your girlfriend moi i'm your friend <laughs> you don't want to be my friend 
Too bad, but you're my friend. <laughs> I love you guys. And I wish everybody a happy new year. I keep saying that, but everybody needs to have a happy new year. Please, Lord, give us a happy new year this year. It shall come to pass. We are going to be happy. Happy new year to all my newbies. We are a sisterhood. We really are. So please share my video. Give me thumbs up. And yeah, so YouTube will know she ain't wasting her time over here. Which, you know what? I just love coming to talk to you guys. I don't even care what YouTube does anymore. But it would be nice to be validated. Okay. It would be nice if you, if they could validate me. Instead of, you know. They can push my video out there so people can see this fly girl, okay? Because you can just be that without breaking the bank, okay? We're not at Bergdorf buying stuff for 5000 We're not at Saks spending our mortgage <laughs> on shoes. We ain't doing that. We're looking fabulous, but, you know, we do have luxury items. Don't get it wrong, but we know how to buy on sale. Some of us have acquired stuff from way back when some of us know how the hell to thrift because we do have a what a black belt in shopping because we are shopaholics but with good sense all right guys enough of my mess enough of my wahala if anybody wants to know what i keep saying wahala what wahala, wahala means trouble like you're bringing too much chaos that's wahala <laughs> in the nigerian language one of the nigerian uh saying wahala so enough of that it's all positive vibes over here and we are going to have a good year guys so i was gonna go downstairs and make some spaghetti maybe i'll take you all with me i don't know because i think that's what everybody want to have some spaghetti don't know i don't know all right guys so i will see you then bye see you later Subscribe, 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 thumbs up. Bye, guys. Time to make some food, dinner. Don't know what it is, but I gotta make a little spaghettios. Not spaghettios, just plain old spaghetti. Nobody wants to eat out today. It's not what we wanted to. No eating out. Put a little salt. Just a little salt. Let's salt. I have put fresh onion, but now I put some onion powder. Got a big old habaneros for taste. Put a little bit of turmeric. I always like to cook with turmeric powder. It gives you a very good complexion. Yeah. Use a little bone. Chicken. Well, yeah. I like even though it's chicken and I'm cooking ground beef this gives it a lot of taste I love the taste factor and then I am going to add my Maggie Q cookie soup with Maggie Q it's a Nigerian commercial I think I'm reading so I think they've had a commercial this is Maggie I just peeled it Cube. Most West Africans use this to cook. We like taste. East Africans don't like spices. West Africans, we do. So, uh, what else am I missing? Some powder, garlic, no ginger. Let me get garlic as a refrigerator.
We got the spice will mince, minced garlic. I'm almost done, so I need to get some more. Ouch. That's my spaghetti sauce is roasted garlic, so I don't need that much garlic, just a little. Let the meat cook. That's what everybody wants to eat today. Mm -hmm. I might have to add some Angus beef on here. Let me ask the person who loves Angus beef. In the, in the deep freezer? Remy? I don't see it. It gotta be in the deep freezer. Let me give me a pack of the Angus. I don't know how you guys get down. This ground beef ain't gonna be enough, so I'm gonna add some Angus beef. Right here on there. What's the habanero? The habanero pepper. I just need one pack. Texas is garlic to eat today. Spaghetti is from Sprouts. Because I think I am going to mix it because I don't have any. That's it. Only one you got? Open. Come on. My nails. Open for me. Let me just put a couple in there. I'm going to put some. Angus meat patty. I think that's all I need. I just want it to cook with the ground beef. But I got simple truth, organic coconut water. I feel like I'm dehydrated, so this is gonna hydrate me. <sighs> Yummy. I'm using this 100% Italian Pini Regrets, tried made in Italy, only because I thought I had spaghetti, but I don't. I used it all the last time, I only have this little bit, so we are have to gonna eat the Italian style today. It's going to be some Pinini. Pinini, Pinini. Pinini is good with spaghetti, so you know. The garlic bread. My dog is just like that. Every time he sees me in the kitchen, he just thinking he knows he's gonna get something. Mm -hmm. 
So we're gonna let this cook for a minute and then we'll resume. So silly me, I still have some more sprouts. Spaghetti, and then I got organic linguine from sprouts. Somebody, when we came groceries, put this in the wrong place. So I thought I had nothing. So voila, I have this. So this can wait, because I know they don't, they just want plain old spaghetti. And uh, the linguine. Why did I buy this linguine? I'm just gonna do spaghetti. The panini is gonna be for another day with the panini. I knew I had spaghetti. Glad I went and looked in the pantry. Voila, voila, voila. We got, we got spaghetti from sprouts. One and a half bag is all they need. We need some garlic toast. Ha! Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. See? This is the fastest food if you ever wanted to. We got spaghetti in the house, fast food. This is the fastest meal to prepare. What was that? Oh. going to use Prego. It's my favorite brand. Usually I get spaghetti sauce from Sprouts, but I wasn't able to because my husband loves this um, roasted garlic and herb. So this is what we are going to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. So because most of everything is like way on the bottom. And we're going to put it in the pot with the mix. Let's see if you can see this. Okay. We do have the meat is simmering. I don't know if you have to see it, but it's in there. Come around, do you know what it needs to be doing? Hold up. So the meat is simmering. I got Andy's beef, habanero peppers, and some Angus beef patties. And I'm about to go put my prego sauce in there. So, yeah. You all see who's down there? Do you all see that? Every time I'm in the kitchen, that's his spot. He's just waiting for me to throw a little something his way. Meeting. 
we don't waste nothing. Sauce is gonna come out of there. put all my ingredients in here. I'm gonna let it oh see that about some of the Maggie cube I need to mince in here. A Maggie cube cookie soup cookie soup with Maggie cube it's coming along African ancestors will roll over in their grave to see me put sugar in this food because we don't cook with sugar. Ha! But this spaghetti sauce is so tingy. The only way it's going to break the tinginess is if I put a little bit of sugar. I never cooked with sugar before. My husband, he's from the south, he taught me this. Because when I used to make spaghetti, he's, I'm seeing him putting sugar. I'll be like, why are you putting sugar in there? But when in Rome, do what the Romans do. I'm sure the African people are looking at me like, girl, you don't lose your damn mind. But I'm going to put a little sugar. It makes it taste good. It's not so teeny. I must confess. It's good. <laughs> Cook it with sugar. Who does that? Yeah, African people will come for me. Forgive me, people. I'm married to an American. That's how he likes it. I mean, we nowadays moving my blinds and outside. I thought maybe somebody was trying to come in, come get me. Oh, this is way better. God forbid. Look away, Africans. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> you did not see that happen. <laughs> but my family loves it. Is this what Jackie's gonna eat? Probably not. I have some okra. I will eat that with some with some noodles. With, you know, okra goes very well with spaghetti itself. I have a pot of okra back here. But that the Americans have their sauce with sugar in it. What can I tell you? Spaghetti is cooking. Spaghetti sauce is my husband's favorite. So let it simmer away. He needs to come put this in the oven. Or oh, I should put it in the oven. Hey! Me. I'll be right back, people. Hey, my sauce is simming away. Yeah, I'll be coming to make your garlic bread. So, there we go. Spaghetti cooking over here. That's it. Oh, macaroni is ready. So this is the garlic bread we're about to have. It. Yeah, it's a little burnt, but it's how we like it. So yeah, it smells good. Guys, so here is my meal. I'm having it. Oh, dish. All right, hey guys. This is my meal. My spaghetti. My garlic toast. I am gonna have some malaw with a bottle of water here is my malo right here spaghetti goes very well with red wine and i don't do cheese i know my husband is gonna put cheese on his me and remy we don't do cheese we just eat it straight up we ain't no italians all right bon appetit guys Bye. 
even though I cook this food, I still have to bless it because it has to nourish myself. Okay? I'm not just eating it because I like it. I need it for nourishment. So God has to bless it. Amen. We burn the toast. Like, seriously. Yeah, this is how I like it, though. A little crispy. the inside part. Who is coming over here? Did I call you, scroll for? I didn't call you. My dog's thing that, oh, look at my shirt. Whenever I'm eating, they have to eat. Don't judge me, I'm home, people. Not for dogs. Human food. Nothing here that a dog wants. Oh. That particular toast was really burnt. So mm -hmm. I ain't gonna eat that one. that food mm -hmm. in Christ's name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I still have makeup for everything. This is dinner, guys. It's only four o'clock, but I prefer to eat now than to eat later on. Maybe later on I'll just snack on something. My little dog here is about to have a heart attack because we're sitting at the bar and he's like, you better throw something down here. Unfortunately, I can because it's spicy. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't do that. I might give you a toast because he's licking his lips. Hey, Simba. Simba said, I'll stay way back here. All right, guys. I think this is where I'll end my vlog. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you later. Thumbs up if you like my cooking. <laughs> if you don't, it's okay too. You don't have to eat it. I do. But um, yeah, see you guys. Bye. Please subscribe. Show you guys my okra, guys. I have okra with noodles. Good alkaline. Good for you. Okra is always good. A lot of people don't like okra because it's slimy. But it's the best powerful food. Mm. Okra tastes good with noodles. You just... Swallow it up. I've been eating okra since New Year's Day. This is leftovers. Oh, it's slimy bit. Slimy bit good. I can eat okra seven days a week. Make it in the form of soup. thing about okra is it's hard for you to chew when you have okra it's just you just have to swallow it down mm. subscribe guys thumbs up okra and noodles 
<laughs> so I ate the spaghetti sauce first. And then I top it off with my okra and then my wine. My Molo. Tis there. Go from spouse. What's he doing? No, he's contemplating on whether he wants his food or not, but I think <laughs> he wants it, so. What was that? Like, swap. He wants to eat? Yeah. Does he have leftovers? Yeah. I'm gonna open it for him. You know, he's triggered. Let's see what he's eating. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, that was good.